What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to the FC24 Liverpool Carrier Mode Show and I'm absolutely buzzing because as you can see we are at the end of April we will play the second leg of the Europa League quarterfinal the Merseyside Derby, we will play against West Ham and Tottenham in this episode and hopefully we can get through to the Europa League uh, semi-finals because after going out of the League Cup and the FA Cup it's absolutely hugely important to win the Europa League and the Premier League to keep our job and to continue this brilliant Liverpool career mode. If you enjoy this series, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here. As you can see, FC Copenhagen have two injured players. I really love it that you can now che check their injured players. And Cornelius is their top scorer. He scored two goals in the first leg where we only won 3-2 with a last minute winner. And to be honest, uh, this team is much, much worse than the regular Premier League side that we come up against and we are playing our best team possible Jota and Van Dijk are both out injured let's go out and get a victory we are not playing for a draw we are Liverpool let's dominate the day is here the match everyone has been talking about and with good reason two teams of strong pedigree rich in talent on the cusp of going head-to-head -head in a highly significant confrontation with so much to play for how will it pan out Stay with us on EA TV. Rasmus Falkjensen on the ball. Oh, oh come on, Trent. Konate, we have to go out to him. Alisson, good save. Come on, clear it. And again. Oh my goodness, Alisson has to make another save. Come on, Diaz. Let's go, Diaz. Brilliant header. But then... Oh! was almost in. Did Alisson actually make a world class save? That is going in and oh my word Alisson. Wow. Robertson. Diaz. Luis Diaz. Grabara saves it. McAllister. Robertson. Darwin Nunez. Gravenbeck. Trent. And McAllister. 1-0. Oh, Alexis McAllister, the talisman, the goal scoring, World Cup winning Argentinian midfield maestro makes it 1 0. And Kramir Grabara, the former Liverpool player, saved so many of our shots in the first leg. Oh, Cornelius again, Alisson. Corobo. What is that header? Robertson, get in. Go on, Luis Diaz. Come on. Look at how fast Diaz is. Look at how fast Luis Diaz is. Luis Diaz! Go, Grabara! What a save, dude! No. Cornelius! 1 1. I can't stop this guy! Just before half time, Cornelius, the most dangerous player of Copenhagen, equalizes. This is a brilliant one by El Yunusi, and he gets the brilliant assist, and that's a good goal by Cornelius. Come on, Alisson, nice. And Darwin Nunez. He goes away. And if I play this right, Darwin Nunez is in. Please, Darwin, you have to score this. Yes, Darwin Nunez, what a counter attack. And El Pantera brilliantly scores a fantastic counter attack. Oh, it, he just has such sheer pace, and the combination with Salah was fantastic. Lovely finish. Cornelius, Alisson again. Oh, what a mistake. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. McAllister, bang it! Oh, Grabara. Trent with El Yunusi, who is faster. El Yunusi. No. Yes, Konate, good clearance. El Yunusi. Oh, no. El Yunusi. Cornelius, another save. Go on. And Gakpo is in, I think. And Gakpo, please chip the keeper. Yes! Kade Gakpo, what a finish! What a lovely dink above the keeper. He came out and we served him some chips. 
Kone Gakpo just came on as substitute, and that's a lovely thing. Liverpool doing Endo. Well to win back possession. Oh yes, Harvey. Oh, uh, Harvey Elliott. And Salah. Salah. And Gakpo, please. Well. Jones, that's four. Kevin Owen just absolutely has fallen apart here. It's seven three on aggregate. Curtis Jones gets uh, his easiest goal. I mean, the goalkeeper was already on the ground. Come on! Oh, what a finish! It's 4 2. What an entertaining goal. Klaassen with a class goal. Konate couldn't mark two players at the same time. That's a good finish by Klaassen. Salah. Oh no. El Yunusi. Cornelius. Oh my goodness, Klaassen is wide open! It's 4-3! Kerberhaven, get two quick goals! I lost the ball straight from kickoff and that's never a good thing and again Klaassen is wide open! What a thrilling couple of quarterfinals against FC Kerberhaven! This was a really really awesome 4-3 win to us but the first leg was 3-2 and there were a couple of last minute goals in each games and I mean Kubenhaven probably deserved to at least get the draw maybe because they were actually pretty decent they had more shots than us but we had the better XG I think we had the better chances defending was pretty much non-existent I'm happy that Gakpo scored Salah this time got two assists and who was the man of the match it was Cornelius he was again involved in everything this is absolutely incredible the only favorite apart from Liverpool are Union Berlin who went through to the semi-finals Sporting knocked out my favorite Spanish team Real Betis I would have loved to play them but Sporting are an easier draw and Feyenoord knocking out AC Milan on penalties I mean that the journalist asks can we go all the way in the Europa League we are massive favorites in the Europa League so we really need to win this competition I love this that Trenor Arnold, who is now the captain after Van Dijk being injured is giving an interview that's really really nice and we get Feyenoord in the semi-finals of the Europa League probably the weakest team again out of the three teams we could have faced so just like in the quarterfinals we got very very lucky and Gonçalves of Sporting is the top scorer of the Europa League we don't really have anybody in the top scorers charts Curtis Jones and Salah are our top scorers interestingly but Salah has the second most assists alongside Jean and Trenox Ronald. Arsenal after losing a lot of games um, and dropping a lot of points they won against Wolves but then they dropped points against Chelsea as well so they are four points behind us with two more games played so the title is pretty much in our hands already. Everton have a pretty decent side but we are a much better team and Soboslay comes back into the starting lineup and Gakpo gets a run out after scoring as a substitute he deserves it so let's take one more step towards winning our first Premier League title on FC24. Let's go! This occasion is about crossing the park, as the locals say. The park being Stanley Park, the expanse of land that separates these two great Merseyside rivals. Live right here on EA TV. Being confirmed, he will in McAllister, Soboslay, oh look at the run. Trent Oxuanold, Darwin Nunez turns and he scores! What a turn by Darwin Nunez! Absolutely brilliant finish! This pass and then the way he rolls past the defender and buries it, world-class strikers play. Promising looking attack from Everton. Danjuma. Up here. Beto. Come on, Beto. Wow. No wonder he's the top scorer of Everton. I put him uh, up against Konate, but he somehow goes past Konate and buries it. That's a good finish. Salah. Trent. Trent Oaks Ronald. Yes. Trent. The Scouser scores against Everton what a fairy tale goal and look at that brilliant finish into the bottom corner Harrison Onana Onana please oh yes wasn't a great piece of 
Darwin. Gakpo. And Soboslay, please! Dominic Soboslay might have just won us the Merseyside Derby. Look at that celebration. Look at how open Soboslay is in the box. And I mean, Salah is marked by a player, so he distracts the defenders. Let's go, Salah. Oh my goodness, how can you leave Salah wide open? Harrison to Beto. And Beto scores again, this guy is ruthless! Two shots, two chances, he buries both! And again I was right there with Konate and he still finds a way past Alisson! Gomez... Darwin Nunez, bang! Oh, Pickford saves it! Oh, what? Robertson falls over! But Dele Alli's finish is really bad. Salah. And look at Salah. Salah! Yes! Salah has won us the Merseyside Derby! It's over! Get in Salah! Look at the Everton fans, I can't hear you! You are dead silent! <laughs> we silenced the Everton fans. That is such of the sweetest moment. And Salah gets another goal against Everton. He loves playing against them. And he has options available. No. No. Marvelous anticipation. What is that pass? Dele Alli. Dele Alli. Unbelievable. Wow. It's 4-3. Again Everton score. The clearance was not accurate. Dele Alli just cuts in and he curls in a brilliant finish. What a start to the episode. Back to back. 4-3 victories. Uh, this was another thrilling Merseyside derby. And I think we deserved it. We had almost twice as many shots. 3 XG to Everton. 0.9. But it's evident that Everton were incredibly ruthless. They just had five shots on target. And we took a giant step towards winning our first Premier League title in this career mode. Uh, Mo Salah and Nunez both had brilliant performances. Trent as well. But it was Beto who was the man of the match. Now we are seven points ahead of Arsenal with a game in hand and a much better goal difference. We are marching on towards the title, which is brilliant. And Newcastle overtook Tottenham to go into fourth place. West Ham are absolutely flying and they are trying to get into a Europa League place. I have to rotate the team a little bit, but this team still should beat West Ham. We are playing the Europa League semi-final just a few days after this game, so that's why I'm giving playing time to Matip, Tsimikas, Endo, Jones, Kravenbeck and Gakpo and Harvey Elliott start on the right wing as well. No doubt about it, the fans are on tenterhooks ahead of this one. They know full well that the heroes could today clinch the league title. Will they do it? Paqueta. Oh my goodness, Paqueta. Amazing! But Kudus scores into the empty net. Alisson was up the pitch. What a goal. Oh, the West Ham fans are loving it. Paqueta's dead skill move. And then I almost foul him and Kudus ruthlessly finishes off the chance. Endo, please. No. Suchek, Paqueta. Oh, Alisson. Harvey Elliott. Room Go on, Harvey. On oh, and Gravenbeck! Oh, How did you miss? This is well, why probably Gravenbeck is not playing really in the, our starting 11, McAllister and Soboslay are, because his finishing is just not there yet. Well, that one has promise. Go on. Gakpo, oh, please, Gakpo! And! Gravenbeck again misses the target. Luis Diaz. Gravenbeck. Diaz. Go on, Diaz. Luis Diaz, please. Another save, Areola. Oh, wow. They are not picking up Salah. I mean, what are they doing when they are not picking up Salah? 
come on, Kudus! Oh, Alison! Oh my goodness! I can't believe it! I can't even get to the ball with a slight tackle. Look at West Ham! They, their close control dribbling is incredible! Kudus, stop it, dude! Oh my goodness, Kudus is running rings around me and Paqueta as well. Oh, look at this! This is incredible! Please, Konate! Oh, wow! Sobosley. Go on, Sobosley! He's in! It's all about how you use that slice of luck. Please, Salah, blocked. No. The West Ham fans are loving this. You know what? Uh, it was risky to play our second team against West Ham, but the Europa League semi-final is even more important. And I think a draw would have been a fair result. As you can see, both teams had a pretty low XG and not that many shots. It wasn't the greatest game, but I think we can afford to lose one game and still win the title. Yeah, we were just well below par. Arsenal took a giant step towards qualifying for Europe by beating Sheffield United and Man City won. They are right on the heels of uh, Man United. So Chelsea lost not even ninth place. That is embarrassing how Chelsea are in mid-table. And Burnley looks like they could be safe. And Arsenal not beating Tottenham as well. I mean, they can only get to 80 points. So one more win in our last four games guarantees us the Premier League title. Mo Salah is the top scorer of the Premier League ahead of Haaland, Jesus and Martinelli. Darwin Nunez has 17 goals which is quite brilliant. Salah and Nunez has the most assists in the league. We are by far the top scorers. McAllister, Trent are up there in the assist charts and Alisson kept the most clean sheets in the league which is lovely. Europa League semi-final and final to have a pretty solid team. No wonder they are in the semi finals but we are the favorites we need to win this all my best players are back in the starting lineup let's beat Feyenoord in the second in the first leg this is the big night the two teams have come a long way in the Europa League this season and now we are down to the last four it's the first leg this evening Wasn't yes, Soboslay. Oh my goodness, Soboslay is away. And if I play this right, Salah. Mo Salah, please! Oh, the keeper saves the chip. Let's go, Salah. Mo Salah! What a finish! Mo Salah! Who opens the scoring in the semi-finals of the Europa League? Are you seeing this? He's just deadly and that is a fantastic finish from just 0.06 XG with a crowd of bodies ahead of him. Bike Sayo, no, Jimenez. Gomez! What? I cleared the ball! Alisson completely loses it and it's an open goal! What an absolute calamity! What was that? Here, with Gomez, I press the clearance and then Alisson tries to jump on the ball and he just completely fumbles it. Promising looking ball. Jimenez. Oh my goodness, Ivanushec, 2-1 Feyenoord! They are leading at Anfield, this is an absolute joke! Here, I never thought he would go in like that, and by the time Ivanushec gets the ball, I was too late. Luis Diaz, oh my goodness, please. Robertson, Darwin Nunez, oh why didn't I... McAllister! McAllister! Oh my goodness, McAllister hits the post! Wow, we need a big second half here. Konate, please. 
Don't let him go inside. Jimenez, 3-1. Pike Sao. He is absolutely lightning quick. And Jimenez, the Mexican striker, is ruthless. You cannot give him time and space in the box. This guy, honestly, run rings around my whole defense. And Jimenez will never miss from that distance. Salah. Nunez. Oh my goodness. How is that not a foul? Darwin Nunez was completely cleaned out. And then look at this, guys. Please, Mosla! Surely no! Now, how about the short corner? Mosla, please! Salah! Mosla! What a finish! What a goal! Let's go, Salah! My camera cut out at the exact moment when I scored, but I'm still celebrating because that is a huge goal! Hugely disappointing first leg result. We lost, but at least we are not going to Feyenoord with a two-goal deficit. And to be honest, Feyenoord were ruthless. Four shots and three of them went in. That is absolutely incredible finishing by Feyenoord who really shouldn't have won this game. We had twice as many shots as them. And I think if we can dominate the second leg, we still have a good chance of going through. But Darwin Nunez picked up an injury, which is a concern because Jota is already out injured. Salah was the man of the match, of course. And this guy was an absolute live wire. Thankfully, Nunez's injury will only make him miss the Tottenham game. And Sporting won the first leg in the Europa League as well, so it's all to play for in the second legs of these semi-finals. And now Salah is up to 6th place in the Europa League goal scoring charts with 5 goals, which is really nice. And Trent now has the most assists in the Europa League, which is fantastic. Salah is our talisman, 35 goals and 20 assists, uh, what a player. McAllister is our third top scorer, which is quite amazing. And Harvey Elliott now has 11 goals, Diaz has 10, Jota also has 10, and Sobosla is creeping up in the goal scoring charts, which is really nice. In the next episode, hopefully we can clinch the Premier League title and qualify ourselves for the Europa League final as well thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this have a nice day see you later goodbye